Good morning all, day two of the media release. Just had an epic breakfast, which was nice. I think I'd like to say we had an epic night last night. We did have an epic night, yes. Casey Chambers came again. <laughs> And she played my song Pony again. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's beautiful. Anyway, we did have a nice breakfast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are we doing today? What's what's happening today? Today we are doing some filming with GM. So yeah. not with this camera, but with their camera and their videographer for their socials because yeah. the truck that we have is the new slate grey and it's new and there's all sorts of other new things about the twenty twenty four it's model. Cool. It's cool. It's cool. So we are going to be doing some um, yeah, some videos and some still content content for them today. Yep, bit of background, uh, yesterday afternoon we pulled up ready for dinner, uh, there was a couple of blokes that were out the back washing the trucks back so they're all spanking new this morning. Yes, because apparently there was some cow poo poo on the 4x4 four four loop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of the media took them out early this morning and got their shots and their photos and a bit of talk about them and all that sort of stuff. So there's a, still a few of them out there doing that. Um, yeah, so, so today's sort of a day for the media to sort of wrap up and, and get the content that they needed with the truck so they can get back and start doing their thing. So. We'll do our own little little bit now with GM and um, yeah, we're yeah, separating should... today, do, yeah. doing our thing and they're doing their thing. Okay, while well, we've got a little break here from all the filming that's going on with the media and all that, we thought this would be a great opportunity to pull Sean up and ask him a few questions. Sean is that one of the head engineers at the plant in Michigan. He's flown over for the media release to um, give us a bit more um, outlook on the truck. So he knows a, be... he knows a little bit about them. <laughs> I thought I knew a lot, but I think Sean knows a little bit we more. We know it so. from a daily drive point of view. Yeah. He knows it from an engineering point of yeah. view. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the head engineer, they know everything, so we'll go ahead. You guys up with a ask us questions. questions all the time, so we're actually going to ask him the questions that yeah. you ask us. We are here with Sean, the lead development engineer from GM in the US of A. We're going to hit him up with all the technical questions that you ask us because we answer from a daily driving point of view. We want to know from an engineering point of view. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good. Far away. <laughs> Far away. I have some that we prepared earlier, and now Chris is going to ask the first one. Yeah. It's all about engineering and towing. Well, we know how good these trucks are. We use yeah. them every day. Yeah. We tow a caravan around Australia. How good are these things from an engineering point of view? Can you elaborate on that a bit? Yeah, I mean, this truck was developed to tow and haul. Yeah. People that buy it, that's what they do with these trucks. So anytime we put new content or add something or look at changing something, we want to make sure it doesn't degrade the towing yeah. or the trailing of this truck. And we want to make sure it either improves it or, yeah. or or makes it better for our customers. So, you know, everything we do is is towing focused with this truck. Well, I don't think they can get any better. They're that good, <laughs> but you guys keep stepping it up. Yeah, we, yeah. we keep finding new things. It's almost like polishing the apple, you know? 100%. Yeah. yeah, whatever new things we can add to this thing to make people's lives easier towing. Yeah. Obviously, it's a big rig, yeah. and people can be intimidated by it. Mm. What we try to do is make it drive like a normal vehicle. Yep. So you can confidently drive it, you can ride to your destination and you're not all stressed out. Exactly. You're you're ready to party when you get to your your campsite. That's what I like, that you guys have designed <laughs> them to haul and, and do such heavy things, but at right. the same time, they just feel like a luxury, soft car to drive. They're yeah. stunning. I call them luxurious. There you go. Yeah. All right, question number two. Question number two. Now we were saying how, you know, how can you make these trucks any better? And I know from hearing you yep. speak about them that the 2024 is actually more fuel efficient. Now, what do you guys do in the process to keep these vehicles so efficient? They're a huge heavy truck, but they're really economical. Yeah, I mean, for 2024, we modified the, the Duramax diesel motor. Yeah. We, we increased the power of it. We delivered more torque at a lower RPM. So you don't have to quite push that vehicle as high RPM to get the same amount of torque out of it. Also, it's not new for 2024, but that 10 speed automatic really helps your fuel economy as well. You know, you know the previous gen of truck, you know, a while ago had a six speed trans with a higher axle ratio. So with the 10 speed trans, we're able to put, you know, a smaller rear axle ratio in it and that helps your fuel economy while towing in too. Even though this is a great big vehicle, it'll probably get more better fuel economy than than some of the smaller vehicles that are traditionally used in this oh, market. We, we know that. We know that very well. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're amazing. And you're right about the 10-speed automatic. It uses those ratios. Everything seems to stay cooler. Yeah. Fuel economy is, economy yeah. is better because we've had the previous yeah. six-speed as well. So, yeah. yeah. That was Chris's yeah. main thing. It's like, oh my gosh, 10-speed up from the six. That yeah. was a note yeah. that something Huge that you noticed. Huge improvement. Yeah. 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 
exhaust braking. I know how good this is because Chris yep. gets very excited every time we go down a hill with a caravan on the back. So ask away. Oh, I get so excited with it, don't I? It's amazing. <laughs> These yeah. trucks are designed to haul. The exhaust braking is a huge feature yeah. that we love. I mean, how good is it? How does it work? Yeah, basically there's, a, there's veins that we can control in a turbocharger yeah. and we close those veins off when the exhaust brake is, is enabled. And that helps use the mo motor and the powertrain to slow the vehicle down so you're not on the on your brakes yep. you know one of the concerns going down a big grade is if you ro ride your brakes too long you could you could get to the point where you don't have brakes anymore you cook them yeah, yeah. yeah you cook them yeah. so this exhaust brake is all integrated in with the with the truck and it really honestly most of the time you can only you hit the brake pedal once and it'll it'll downshift it the truck it. activates it yeah. And a lot of times you can leave your foot completely off the brake and you can just coast right down the grade you want. Yep. Well, so. sometimes Chris actually has to accelerate. Yeah, yeah. it, it <laughs> works so good. I mean, yeah. I, I used yeah. to panic and get a little nervous at big mountain ranges and yeah. the older cars. Right. Since we've jumped into a HD truck, that's non-existent. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah, pleasure it, to it, it's a really nice feature yeah. for anybody towing, especially yeah. I mean, type of grades. It makes, makes it really easy. Yeah, absolutely. I think the other thing that exhaust braking is, is safe. So these trucks are really, really safe when it comes to towing and there are a whole heap of safety features specifically for towing. Yep. Uh, do you want to touch on those? Yep. Yeah, what we've tried to do is all the common features that, that are safety based on a vehicle without towing, let's make them work with a trailer. Mm. Absolutely. So one of the new features in 2024 20, is extended side blind zone. So you traditionally have a side blind zone when you're driving a vehicle but it doesn't work when you have a trailer attached. You could have somebody in the blind zone there and you and you and maybe you can't see them or whatever. Well, in 2024, it'll come up on your mirror with an amber light yep. and say, hey, there's somebody in your side blind yep. zone. Yeah, because the amber light would, would go off, but you, you could see there was someone still next to the trailer, yeah. whereas yeah. now you, you, that risk is, it's, is not it there It just anymore. feels like the caravan is part of your car. Everything yeah. just feels like yeah. one piece. It's, it's, it's amazing, yeah. The other thing is a lot of the camera system too. Yeah. One of the things it does if you, you turn your turn signal on, it'll do a, we call it a turn signal biasing, but even if you have maps up or your radio up, yep. it'll override that just temporarily while you make your corner, and it'll show down the whole side of the vehicle that's closest to the curb mm. or something, and make sure you don't hit anything and you got enough room. Obviously, you always have your mirror and everything, but it's just another aid to that driver to make sure you don't hit anything like while you're where you're transversing through some tight areas. Safety features are all well and good, but I would like to touch on luxury. What are the luxury details that are in this truck and how do you decide what to put in them? Yeah, I think today we talked a lot about towing, but we want a vehicle that's comfortable for you to be in because you're on long trips. Not only towing, but maybe at night you want to go out and have a nice dinner with your husband. Maybe he takes we you do out that every all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe not with not with the, the not caravan. With the caravan on the back. Side. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, sometimes in the states we call it the cowboy Cadillac. You know. I like that. Ooh, yeah. We might use that one. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah you can we'll use, use that. that. I'll let you. I'll let you trademark that <laughs> one. Yeah. If you want. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so the seats are big. They're air conditioned. They're heated. They're comfortable. The dash is functional, but it looks amazing. There is so much in this truck that yeah. makes it really really comfortable and to be honest it doesn't feel like a truck was that kind of part of the design yeah yeah definitely yeah. Uh, we, we want to use the most premium materials in this this is a luxury vehicle sometimes trucks aren't considered a luxury vehicle no. but we we treat it as a luxury vehicle and we use a you know the most premium materials on the inside yeah. and make it comfortable for for any any person to sit in that vehicle. In Australia, we do a lot of kilometers, you know, be between places and being yeah. comfortable and the ease of driving the truck, that just makes it so it, much safer. It's not yeah. uncommon for yeah. us to spend six hours yep. driving, you know, stopping every two hours for a short break, but we are in those seats a lot and it's, yep. it's very comfortable. Yep. Yeah, that's really the focus, you know, if we have a vehicle that tows really well, but it's uncomfortable for you to be in it, you're not good. You do not want to be in no, it. No, so we, we want to create something that you enjoy being in when you arrive someplace, you're ready to go have fun. I've always got a smile on my face when yeah. I'm driving it yeah. always. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking on arriving at the next place, these trucks are clearly, they're designed for off-road. They're four by four capable. Yep. What are the features, the four by four features of this truck? Yeah, this truck is equipped. We call it our Z71 off-road package. It's got the twin two branch O shocks on it. It has skid plates underneath. Um, it's got a locking rear differential. So how that works, if one wheel in the back is 10 kph faster than the other, it'll lock both of them together. 
and eventually if you get up to about 40 kph it'll unlock them yeah you can feel it you can feel them engaging when yeah. it needs to yeah yeah and good. then the last feature um if you ever get in some really going downhill yep. on a really steep grade gravel it's got hill descent control which yep. will uses the abs brakes to kind of control the vehicle you can just set a speed as low as one or two mile an hour and, and just let your foot completely off the brake and the gas and it'll just control the vehicle all the way down the hill so Amazing is that features. new for 2024 no it's not new for 2024 it's something we've had since probably 2020 on this truck okay. but, okay. Yeah, cool. but it's just all part of that off-road package so this is a cool feature that we wanted to show you guys about the transparency mode um, and when you're with, with your caravan on the back. So it's using the GM accessory camera on the back of the van um, and using the camera, oh, it's just gone, there we go. The camera on the back of the car as well. So it'll it'll stitch them all together and give you basically a transparent caravan. How amazing is that? You can see straight through And then obviously as soon as you turn, so if we're gonna go do a hard uh, right now, a hard right, it'll bias and then go over to that side so you can see what's happening. And then we'll come back the other way. There you go, look at that. Isn't that amazing? So it's another cool feature in the reversing. What's the go with this? Yeah, basically up in the upper right there is a jackknife alert. So once that trailer gets into that yellow zone, you'll it'll kind of beep at you, or the red zone, it'll kind of prevent you from, you know, having the trailer contact um, the truck. We might just do, we'll do a spin around. We'll, we'll turn it fairly hard in a minute so I can turn around and see what it actually does. Yeah. All right, let's pull this in now. Yeah, so you can see the trailer's going to yep. come. So if we hook it even more, there you go. So it's going to give you an alert that you're yep. jackknifing. Yep. How cool is that? Oh, yep. I better go straight now, hey? So we don't jackknife it. Yeah. <laughs> Just another thing you don't have to think about, hey? Again, with these things, the way they've designed it, just makes everything so much easier. And if we go back to the transparency mode again, so it'll show us if we're going to hit anything on the inside wheels there. Yeah. And then yeah, as it's we really nice. This automatically does it based on steering wheel angle. It's just amazing. And then if we straighten up again, it should go back into the transparency. There we go. Very cool feature. Well done. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, we spent a lot of time developing that and making it as a real nice safety feature yep. and, and making, making this easier to drive. Yep. There you go. How cool is that? And that's it for the technical questions. Thank you so much, Sean, for flying all the way over from the US of A to join us. We hope that's answered some of your questions. Yep. I think we might be able to get you around a campfire for a nice Aussie beer one day. What do you think? That sounds awesome. <laughs> I can't wait. I'll, I'll fly another 14 hours back over here for a campfire beer. Perfect. Especially on a hot day like this, it's yeah. just perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. We are Miriam and Chris from Aussie Destinations Unknown. Sean from GM in the USA. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.